Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wilson Jao. I know it's been a minute. Finally, I've posted myself and everything. So today I want to talk about outlier accounts. And one of the biggest challenges, you know, one of the biggest questions that I keep getting is how do you open one, you know, an outlier account? How do you go about it? First of all, I want to explain what an outlier account is. Hi guys, this is Wilson Jao. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you um, how to create a you see we are in the age of artificial intelligence where these big tech companies are being you no know, are paying companies like outlier we're talking about Microsoft we're talking about Google we're talking about these giant companies are paying companies like outlier in return outlier could source out for for people to train AI and then this technology could be used to develop more advanced you know applications softwares and, and stuff now that is what outlier is all about so how do you get an outlier the first thing you need to have an outlier account is a resume or a cv you need to have like you know you're really good some sort of credential saying that you're really good at this or that the second thing you have to have is a proof of residency that is like a uk deal a us deal and i'm going to tackle all these things that's why i've decided to make this video so that i'll answer all the questions and then after that this what else do you need you need a phone number you need a phone number for that country that you're going to apply for and after that we are going to start so the first thing you have to do is find a job that you can do on outlier and how do you find a job that you can do on outlier without setting up a proxy oh my god we didn't mention a proxy yes guys we need a proxy too i'm getting old so you need those four things you need a resume you need a deal you need a, um, a deal or a proof of residency it can be a passport it can be anything else uh you need a foreign number and finally you need a proxy so after you've gotten all these things in order you start but before you even buy a single thing before you buy a proxy before you buy uh, a deal before you buy all these things what is the first thing you need to do you first have to find out what you want to apply for and in this case i'm going to give you a free tool that you can use so you're going to click on chrome store chrome store is like play store for those who use android and apple store for those who use iphones so first of all you go to chrome store you can see here on the screen you can click on chrome store and then you're going to download urban vpn okay so after you install your urban vpn you're going to activate it and you're heading to the outlier account the outlier website after your google outlier website you're going to see all the opportunities that, that are there. They are close to 600, 500 uh, opportunities. Maybe they might be different by the time you're watching this video, but those are the numbers of opportunities that are there. So you're going to find something that suits you. On this case, I'm going to use AI content reviewer. So for those are one of the tasks that one can go with, you know, uh, without, if let's say you don't want to pick something like physics, English and everything, you would, you'd want to start there as a beginner. After you have seen, you're, you now know that this is what I want to do. You've gone through the, the description, you've gone through everything and now you're ready to start. So the first thing you have to set is an email address. Okay. So you have to create an email address. You're going to create a character. For example, my name is Wilson Jao. So you are going to create a character of, let's say, James Green. So you're going to create jamesgreen at gmail.com. And after you create it, now the best way to create an email is using your phone. Because when you're using your phone, you can skip that part where you have to. Because um, at, uh, at this state, I'm assuming you don't have a phone number. So after you have created, you're going to create an email using your phone, not using your laptop. If you create an e a new email using your laptop, you cannot skip the part where you have to verify using your phone number. So in this case, you're going to use your phone so that you can be able to skip it. So once you skip, we already have an email, right? 
What's the second thing? You're going to create a resume. Now I have a video. You can see there's a video that I created on resume. You can go and check it out. I have it stamped out on the timeline and you can also check on the links on the description of this video. That video will show you how to create a resume. It's basically using ChatGPT. And whenever talking about ChatGPT and coming up with the resumes, you don't go and just tell ChatGPT, ChatGPT, create for me a resume about this job. You are going to outlier, you're going to highlight the requirements for this job. And after you've done that, you're going to charge BT and tell it, you are a, an award-winning resume writer. You are a world-renowned person in creating a, resumes and CVs. And you also love helping people. You just met me. And you want to help me apply for a job with this description. You put quotes and then paste the job description from outlier. Remember you're using your urban VPN so you can still access it. After that, you have your resume. You make sure the names are there. Everything is there. Now there's something else also on a resume. It usually, and this is very important when you're creating an outlier account, you really need a residence. You need like an address to show that you're from a specific place. Now you have to pay attention to this. Okay. You have to go and look for, let's say you picked U UK, you want to apply for AI content reviewer UK accounts. So you're going to go to houses for sale in UK. You're going to Google houses for sale and you're going to see all these fancy houses and all that. And you're going to get, you can see on your screen right here, I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating. You're going to see this is the residence. This is the address. You're going to use that address on your resume. So that's where you're from. Yes, you're from UK. For example, I can, I could be from maybe South Africa, but where in South Africa? Is it Cape Town? And if it's Cape Town, where exactly? That's what outlier will ask you in the onboarding process. So once we have our resume, we have our email, we also have the address. It's time to start guys. Now we talked about proxies. I also have a video to show you how to buy a proxy and you can see it right there. You can learn how to buy a proxy and everything. Uh, I've made this very, very brief. I don't want to make it like an hour long and everything. It's just giving you the most important details. Okay. Now, when it comes to a proxy, you have to buy a residential proxy. I have links on this video. You can go and check it out. Can use good discounts, get good discounts while buying a proxy. And then after watching the video, you're going to understand how to set your proxy up so that it doesn't leak. So now we have a, a resume or a CV. Some might call it that depending on which school system you went to. Uh, we also have um, an email address. We also know what you are going to apply for because we use that to create the, you know, to create the, the resume. And then now the journey begins. So. Now you're going after setting up a proxy, you're going to run your proxy and you're going straight up to outlier. So you log in since you don't have an account, you're going to sign in and point, you know, uh, just a side note. You remember you had created your email using your phone, sign it out. Okay. Sign it out. Don't let it be on the phone. Google will snitch you. So don't let it be on the phone. You have to sign out. So after that, now, um, you start logging in on your laptop, right? You log in, um, you sign up in the Google. Now you're running on a proxy on the, your new email. You see the job description. After you see the job description, you have to now, you know, uh, say, you know, apply for that job. You click, you start the onboarding process. The first thing they're going to ask you for is a phone number. Now I have a couple of websites here as you can see on your screen that can give you a free phone number. I've made countless outlier accounts without me needing to buy a phone number. So, but just in case you want to buy one, you can always go to text verified text verified. It's a website that can show you all the things that you need, all the things that you know, all numbers. We're talking about Google, we're talking about Facebook, Instagram on text verified. You just spend less than a dollar to buy a number. That is what you, you know, and on the onboarding process, after you go through that, you go through the next step. 
Now, the next step is very crucial because they are going to ask for proof of residency. It can be this thing. It can be a voter's card. It can be a passport. It can be a DL and, and can be an ID. Now, you have to go with the DL and especially the UK DL. And I know you're asking yourself, Wilson, where will I get a UK DL? I got you on that. On this video, there's a link you're going to click and you're going to get a template. Yeah, for learning purposes only. Did I say that? I'll put it in the beginning. So you're going to get that template and you're going to make sure your photo is in black and white. Then you are going to print it like you can see here and have a hard copy for educational purposes only. So after that, you're going to make sure that now in the verification process, this is where you have to be very keen and even make sure you're taking notes if you can on this video. And you can even rewatch it as many times as you can because this is the only way you can get an outlier account. Okay? Without buying an account. Don't buy an account. Listen to Wilson and follow everything I'm saying on this video. After you buy these templates right here from Remote Jobs, is a site that I bought my own template and I created an outlier account. You're going to edit it on Canva and you're going to make sure it has your picture. For this reason, on the onboarding process, after you have, you know, uh, given your number, you now they go to ask you those four things that I told you. An ID, a DL, a voter's card, or a passport. We're going with the DL, a UK DL. Now, after you have, you know, scanned it, they're going to, the moment you choose that UK DL, they're going to send a link to your phone. And they're going to send you a link to your phone. And this is where they bust people because most people, yes, they know how to set up a proxy for their laptop, but they don't know how to match one with their phone. Now for that, of course, once again, Wilson has to come through. I have a video that I've created on how to set up a proxy, a step-by-step -step video. You're going to watch it. You can see it on my video. You're going to see how I set up my proxy to match my proxy on the phone to match the proxy on the laptop because most people lose accounts in this way. Outlier wants to bust you. They want to know if you're really in the country that you're claiming to be in. So they will send you a link telling you to scan your ID or DL. So when they send you that link, the first thing you're going to do is open it on your phone. Busted, they already know you're not in that country. So, but if you set the proxy well, like you can see on that video that I'm showing you for educational purposes only, you can be able to uh, verify your ID because now your laptop and your phone will be reading the same IP address. So I would like, would be, but if most people do this mistake, they go and download a VPN that shows another location. In this sense, this is how outlier will bust you. Let's say you have signed up in your account and um, it's saying that you're in London. The proxy is saying that you're in London and you're going to apply. The next thing that's going to happen, you, they're going to send a link so that you can scan your proof of residency document. And you're going to download some bogus, maybe VPN on your phone. And the VPN is, yes, it's reading UK, but it's saying you're UK, Liverpool. Now, how can that person be in Liverpool when we were just communicating with this person moments ago in Okay, maybe I'm, you know, I've never been into UK. You guys need to invite me. Yeah, I've never been there. But you can, you can get the, what I'm trying to, to, to say to me right here. Be, what I'm trying to say that is you can't be in those different places at the same time. And that's how many accounts are going on fraud. That's how people are losing these accounts. So you have to go and watch that video to learn everything that I'm trying to break down for you. So after that you now they send a link then they send a link to tell you to scan your face now here's where outlier want to bust you they want to know that the person on this document is it the, the real person because you could steal an id you could buy one from the black market and you'd be busted because it's not your face that's why you have to go to that site and buy one the template the template so after they send you now a link, they will send it once again to your Gmail account. You're going to log in in your phone. Remember the proxy is on the whole time the proxy is on, okay? You're going to log in. 
you're going to see the link that they sent you you're going to scan your face and now they can know oh the guy on the the face is still the guy in the deal and you're going to pass that now you're going to wait for like six two hours and you'll be ready to go now let's talk about payments you have to use paypal okay outlaw usually pay once a week so they use paypal to send payments and everything and that's how guys get an outlier account don't buy one you'd rather learn how to create one and create one and then sell it to people rather than buying one from someone right and a side note you have to create a linkedin profile now this is where outlier really gets many people they know that many people did not apply for that particular account they were helped and they don't have a linkedin account so you have to have a linkedin account with the professions we created right in the beginning of this video on the resume for example wilson here i applied a code account i have to create a linkedin account showing that i do coding and that's how guys you end up with an outlier account if you have any more questions make sure you hit me up and if you'd want to learn all these things step by step there's also a link you can get that guide it can show you everything you need to know and that's how you end up with an outlier account make sure you follow this channel because this year i'm going to spoil you with so many tips and hacks yes make sure you subscribe my name is also till i see you again